Hello students. In this module, let us discuss the conformations of ethane. This is useful for the students of grades 11th and 12th. Please subscribe my channel. Like, share and comment my videos. Let us learn about conformations. A single covalent bond, single covalent bond, a single covalent bond is formed in between two atoms by axial overlapping of atomic orbitals. So a single covalent bond is formed by axial overlapping axial overlapping of uh, atomic orbitals atomic orbitals these atomic orbitals are uh, half filled orbitals so a single covalent bond is formed by axial overlapping axial overlapping means direct overlapping direct overlapping of atomic orbitals of uh, half filled in alkanes in alkanes a cc bond a CC bond is formed. How CC bond is formed by overlapping of overlapping of sp3 sp3 hybrid orbitals. sp3 sp3 hybrid orbitals overlap in alkanes. The first alkane having two carbon atoms is ethane CH3 CH3. So in uh, ethane. Uh, two sp2 hybrid orbitals in between carbon atoms uh, overlap each other to form a cc bond and of course remaining sp3 hybrid orbitals overlap with uh, s orbital of uh, sp3 s overlapping overlapping between between carbon and hydrogen atom carbon and hydrogen atom the electron distribution electron distribution electron distribution of uh, sp3 sp3 electron distribution of sp3 sp3 sigma bond is cylindrically symmetrical cylindrically symmetrical what is symmetrical? Symmetrical means equal distribution all along. So cylindrically symmetrical around internuclear axis. Around internuclear axis. Internuclear axis. So the CC bond is C, C, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen and in this manner. So the CC bond, C, this is a sp3 and this is sp3. So this is sp3, sp3 sigma bond. And of course, these are hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Now this electron distribution is cylindrically symmetrical around the nuclei of uh, both the carbon atoms. Because of this uh, uh, cylindrically symmetrical, the CC bond, the CC bond is free to rotate, free to rotate. That means fix this, fix one of the carbon atom, uh, fix one of the carbon atom and of course the second carbon atom can be rotated. Now let us have this uh, uh, in a three dimensional picture. See this is, uh, see this is carbon atom, this is carbon atom, carbon, carbon and of course these are uh, hydrogen atoms. Now fix this, uh, fix one of the carbon atom firmly and you can rotate the second carbon, 
you can rotate the second carbon. See, the second carbon is free to rotate around it. In different angles, it can be rotated. So, the single bond is free to rotate. During the rotation of, during the rotation, rotation of CC single bond, CC single bond, different spatial arrangements, spatial arrangements are formed. Different spatial arrangements are generated. Generated. And of course, these spatial arrangements, such spatial arrangements, such spatial arrangements obtained, obtained by, by the rotation of, by the rotation of CC single bond, CC single bond are called conformations are called conformations conformations are rotamers rotamers conformations are rotamers now the discussion the analysis of these conformations are referred as is referred as a conformation analysis conformational conformational analysis conformational analysis now let us discuss about uh, this conformation conformational analysis now once again see this geometrical arrangement this geometrical arrangement see here this is uh, exactly if you observe this uh, uh, three dimensional arrangement see here this hydrogen atom exactly lies over the other hydrogen atom of other carbon. This hydrogen exactly lies above this and this hydrogen, this hydrogen lies about this. Now, if you rotate this through, this is, this is 60 degrees angle. If you rotate this 60 degrees angle, exactly this hydrogen, exactly this hydrogen lies in between these two hydrogen atoms of uh, other carbon atom. So, mainly there are uh, two projections or two spatial arrangements. So, the main arrangements, spatial arrangements, arrangements are staggered staggered and eclipsed staggered and eclipsed what is eclipsed see here in this exactly this uh, hydrogen atom this hydrogen atom eclipses this hydrogen atom that means if you look this uh, in this manner if you look in this manner like this so this hydrogen eclipses this hydrogen atom this hydrogen atom eclipses this hydrogen atom Right, so this is a eclipsed form. This is eclipsed form. So if you see this in one particular direction, this this hydrogen doesn't allow to look this hydrogen. So such an arrangement is known as eclipsed arrangement. And if you rotate this through 60 degrees, now this is all the hydrogen atoms, all the hydrogen atoms we are able to see we are able to see all the hydrogen atoms. 1, 2, 3 for this carbon, 1, 2, 3 for this carbon. So, such an arrangement is known as a staggered. So, staggered and eclipsed. So, in staggered arrangement, the hydrogen atoms of one carbon atom are oriented in such a manner that they are far away from the hydrogen atoms of other carbon atom. That they are far away from hydrogen atoms of other carbon atom, other carbon atom. So these, uh, these conformations, uh, conformations can be represented, 
can be represented by sahars sahars projection formula and newman projection formula sahars and newman projection newman projection formula now how to represent this in uh, sahars and uh, newman's projection formula so sahars sahars projections sahars projections so here this is carbon here carbon here so we need not show the carbon atoms so here this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen this is hydrogen whereas this is hydrogen this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen so what is this this is staggered conformation this is staggered staggered conformation staggered conformation so if you imagine this in a three dimensional formula this hydrogen is far away from this hydrogen so this hydrogen is far away from this and this hydrogen is far away from this so this is a staggered conformation in sahars sahars projections now the other one other one eclipsed so in eclipsed so keep this fix this hydrogen fix this hydrogen and rotate this uh, rotate the this hydrogen so here hydrogen here hydrogen here hydrogen here so this hydrogen eclipses this and this hydrogen eclipses this and this hydrogen eclipses this so this is a uh, uh, what is this conformation this is eclipsed conformation eclipsed conformation so how do we draw the sahars projections the cc bond is shown as a straight line of course slightly tilted and the hydrogen atoms are shown in this manner showing the angle between them is uh, uh, 120 degrees right and in staggered projection staggered conformation the hydrogen atom is far away the hydrogen atom of one carbon atom is far away from the other carbon atom this hydrogen and this hydrogen this and this right whereas in a eclipsed form in eclipsed form the hydrogen atoms this hydrogen atom exactly eclipses this and of course all the respective hydrogen atoms of one carbon atom eclipse the hydrogen atoms of other carbon atoms so these are uh, sahars projections and the in a newman's projection in newman's projection the two carbon atoms forming a sigma bond the two carbon atoms forming a sigma bond are represented by two circles so this is a one circle one circle two circles and one behind the other so because the two circles are one behind the other we are able to see the only front carbon that is we can see only one circle the hydrogen atoms attached to the front carbon are represented by ch bond so this is front carbon the hydrogen atoms attached to the front carbon are shown by ch bond in this manner so this is h and of course this is h the ch bonds of the rear carbon are shown from the circumference of the circle in this manner so this is hydrogen here this is hydrogen this is hydrogen so what is this this is staggered staggered conformation staggered conformation what about eclipsed form so this is the first carbon atom and of course the ch bonds of the first carbon atom are shown completely that is ch bond ch bond ch bond and the rear the ch bonds of rear carbon atom are shown in this manner like this so in this manner in this manner what is this 
this is eclipsed eclipsed conformation eclipsed conformation in a ethane molecule this is a ethane molecule in a ethane molecule one conformation this is a eclipsed conformation one conformation to other conformation from one conformation the other is obtained by by the rotation of uh, 60 degrees 60 degrees so this is a staggered conformation and this is eclipsed conformation in between there will be so many conformations so all the other conformations in between these two extremes extreme conformations extreme conformations means one is uh, uh, eclipsed and another one is staggered so in between eclipsed and staggered the other conformations are referred as a skew conformations so all other conformations all other conformations in between in between the two extremes two extremes extremes means two extremes that is staggered and staggered and eclipsed eclipsed are called are called skew conformations skew conformations now relative stability of relative stability of conformations relative stability of conformations out of staggered and eclipsed the staggered conformation staggered conformation the staggered conformation is more stable more stable than eclipsed staggered conformation is more stable than eclipsed see when one conformation changes to another the energy of the molecule changes so during the change of change of one conformation to other one conformation to other energy change energy changes energy changes so out of two conformations so the staggered conformation staggered conformation has relatively less energy relatively less energy relatively less energy why it is so see uh, have the figure see the figure once again so this is a staggered conformation in this staggered conformation the hydrogen atoms are far away from each other hydrogen atoms of one carbon atom are far away from the hydrogen atoms of other carbon atom because of this repulsive interactions are least so due to the far distance due to the distance far distance between hydrogen atoms hydrogen atoms of both the carbon atoms both the carbon atoms the repulsive interactions repulsive interactions are repulsive interactions are least therefore staggered conformation is more stable than eclipsed now we can uh, uh, understand this by drawing a diagram so here let us draw a graph that is so here potential energy potential energy so this is a, let us take this as a energy line so here this is 
staggered arrangement hydrogen 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 this is so for the staggered hydrogen the energy is least and as it confirms as it changes from staggered to eclipsed the energy rises in this manner therefore here the eclipsed conformation this is hydrogen so this is eclipsed and of course rises and again when it changes to other staggered form again the energy comes down so in this manner so here again staggered form again staggered form so when staggered changes to eclipsed the energy increases as it changes from staggered to eclipsed the energy rises in this manner therefore here the eclipsed conformation this is hydrogen so this is eclipsed and of course rises and again when it changes to other staggered form again the energy comes down so in this manner so here again staggered form again staggered form so when staggered changes to eclipsed the energy increases since energy increases the eclipsed form is less stable the energy increases because because the hydrogen atoms of one carbon atom are near to the hydrogen atoms of other carbon atom that is the distance between the hydrogen atoms are less therefore repulsive and attractive forces increase therefore energy increases thus the eclipsed form is less stable when compared to staggered the repulsive interaction the repulsive interaction between electron clouds of sigma bonds electron clouds of sigma bonds means sigma bonds in between carbon and hydrogen atom the repulsive interactions between electron clouds of sigma bonds of uh, two adjacent carbon atoms which affects the stability of a conformation and this is called torsional strain torsional torsional strain so torsional strain means torsional strain means the repulsive interaction interactions in between the sigma bonds of both the carbon atoms the magnitude of the tor torsional strain the magnitude of the torsional strain depends on the rotation of cc bond the magnitude magnitude of torsional strain torsional strain depends on depends upon the rotation of rotation of cc bond and this rotation so the angle of rotation the angle of rotation is called dihedral angle dihedral angle the angle of rotation of cc bond is known as dihedral angle or this is also called as torsional angle torsional angle or dihedral angle so the difference between in between see here in between the staggered conformation and uh, eclipsed conformation the energy difference between energy difference difference between staggered and eclipsed staggered and eclipsed forms is 12.5 kilo joule per mole 12.5 kilo joule per mole see the energy required just now we discussed that the difference in energy in between staggered and eclipsed conformations is 12.5 
kilojoule per mole. So the energy required energy required to rotate to rotate the ethane molecule ethane molecule ethane molecule about carbon carbon single bond carbon carbon single bond is called torsional energy torsional energy see this energy is not this energy is uh, not so large because of this energy difference is there the conversion of one form into another form does not stop so because of the energy because of the energy change of one form to another one form to other does not stop does not stop why it is so because at normal temperature also uh, this energy energy is obtained from the environment therefore one conformation changes to another conformation so at normal temperature normal temperature molecules possess sufficient energy to overcome the energy barrier energy barrier energy barrier means the difference in energies of uh, uh, staggered conformation and eclipsed conformations therefore the conformations keep changing as the time passes one conformation changes into another conformation rapidly so it is not possible because of this uh, continuous change it is not possible to isolate or separate one conformation from other now let us discuss the conformations of uh, conformations conformations of uh, propane what is the propane formula c3 h8 c3 h8 so the newman's projection formula this is ch3 ch2 ch3 so here the newman's projection formula this is ch3 h h that is the second carbon is shown here the second carbon is shown in the uh, in front of the circle that is the first circle and this third carbon either this or this third carbon is shown in this manner like this so what is this this is this is staggered staggered and the eclipsed form eclipsed form eclipsed form this is ch3 h h and of course this since it is eclipsed it is in this manner so this is eclipsed it is eclipsed now let us see the sahar's projections of uh, propane so sahar's projections of propane this is cc bond and of course this is ch3 hydrogen here hydrogen here and this is hydrogen this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen what is this form this is staggered staggered form on the other hand the eclipsed form is this is so this carbon atom is kept fixed and if we rotate this carbon atom rotate this carbon atom so ch3 comes here in this manner so this ch3 group and this both are eclipsed that means both lie one behind the other this hydrogen and this hydrogen lie behind the other this and this lie behind the other now let us see the 
confirmations of confirmations confirmations of butane butane what is the formula c4 h10 that is ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 in this let us represent the middle carbon atoms as a cc bond middle carbon atoms as a cc bond so the other one is this carbon atom is here ch3 and of course for this two hydrogen atoms are here and here and this carb this methyl group is present here this is ch3 and two hydrogens of this carbon are shown in this manner like this so what is this this is staggered staggered and eclipsed form cc bond of second and third carbons and this carbon atom is fixed h h this is ch3 and of course this carbon as it is rotated ch3 comes here and hydrogen and hydrogen so this ch3 group and this ch3 group lie one behind the other therefore they are eclipsed now how do we draw the newman's projection so this is a newman's projection hydrogen hydrogen and of course this is ch3 and here this is ch3 ch3 here this is ch3 here this is ch hydrogen and of course this is hydrogen so what is this one this is staggered staggered and the other one is other one is so this carbon atom is fixed the rear carbon atom is rotated so as it is rotated the ch3 group comes here and here and here therefore each group lie one behind the other therefore this is eclipsed eclipsed in the next module let us discuss geometrical isomerism please subscribe my channel share like and comment my videos thank you